Hey guys, today we're going to work on a little bit of a collection that I had in mind. Um, I posted before about this cat drawing that I did that I really really loved and I wanted to sort of expand it into a sort of awkward animals series. Within this video we're going to have a look at the cat one and there's an Eli one as well, um, my dog Eli, which I've already done um, and then we're going to make a new sausage dog one and then I wanted to turn these into tote bags so we're going to have a play with the Cricut and some heat transfer vinyl and make some tote bags with these on and then at the end I wanted to try my hand at a few lino prints as well so we will do that towards the end. So first of all I'm just going to go straight into designing the sausage dog one with you guys uh, on the iPad. So let's go do that. So Illustrator is my best friend when it comes to this. So I drew this on Procreate, so obviously it's not an SVG or anything. But if we go up here and we use Image Trace, yes. Um, and then we go to, right here, <laughs> expand. Then it turns it into like actual SVG. Perfect, so now this is an SVG that I can mess around with and I'm going to go in, I can see, oh no it's perfect, look at that, it's very cute. Okay, I want to clean up things like this. So this guy is based off my chihuahua, who, Eli, come here, this one here. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, you want to come up? He's got skinny little legs and a fat body. And he's got his little white patch down there. Yeah. He just wanted to chill. Ah, perfect. Eli. Those are the eyes. The eyes. He's such a good boy. Hey. Okay. So let's heat press some of these onto tote bags. So what I've got, I've got three of each of these Westwood Mill tote bags. This is like a really light pink. These tote bags are so thick and like really sturdy. I love these. They're also organic, I think. Oh yeah, organic cotton. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the pink ones for today and we're going to use this natural cotton one. So you can see the colour here. I need to iron these as well. I think let's do all three designs. So I've got three of these. So I'm going to do all three designs on here. Um, but I'm debating whether to do it with or without text. Because I do like the text, but I love them themselves. I think I'll make that, because I'm going to do them made to order, I think I'll make that an option when you purchase to have with or without text. Like, I think a sausage dog would look so cute without the text. But the cat kind of needs the text. Um, I'll decide when I do it. So, yeah, that was the sausage dog all done. He's so cute. Um, I do like how that one turned out. So... 
what I'm going to do now is show you the tote bags that I am going to heat transfer onto. Cool, so let's set up the Cricut and we're going to use black heat transfer vinyl, so it's going to be very easy, hopefully. Um, and then we'll heat press together. Let's load up the Cricut. We have two tote bags! Oh, I love how these turned out. So we've got our shy sausage. Perfect. There we are. Little babies. They were so nice. And then we have the one and only Eli. Little tiny boy. So there, there's the slab. Also feels lovely. Yeah. I actually love how these came out. Look at these guys. Just on the floor. So that's it for tote bags today. I'm not gonna do the cat one. I can't think of a cat slogan to put on there. So I'm just not gonna do that yet. But what I can show you is the other cat one. Like, this was a test one that I did before. I want to do the cat bigger. But you can see it just looks a bit weird without, like, a slogan on it. Or something written on it. It's just a bit... Maybe it's because it's, it's too small on the bag. Like, I love it. But... Do you know? Needs text, I think. But I don't know what that text is going to be yet. 
If you have any ideas on what should be written with this little guy, please let me know in the comments below and I probably will do it. But now, um, you saw me do the lino print stamps in my previous video. I am now going to do some actual like prints, lino print. And I've got this bit of lino left over with the price tag on that I want to do into two. So I've marked the center here. And I think I'm going to do the sausage dog and the cat as prints. Um, although I do love the tiny boy. But I've cut some stuff out of vinyl and I'm going to put stick the vinyl on here and then outline it and cut it that way. Uh, I think that will be the easiest way to do it. So let's weed that then. <laughs> So I've cut the full thing out, which I'm now thinking, I don't know if I like the idea, I need to get rid of the sticky stuff from the vinyl. I don't know, we'll see. I think I'll put it on the back of some wood, um, then I'll cut this one out. So, it definitely needs more ink than this one, um, so that's a good learning. I need a bit of press, but I was just testing so that's fine. And then in terms of size, oh, I don't know, I think these are too big. I really wanted A5, and that's what I was basing it off, but I think I've got two A5. It's an A4 piece of paper. Um, no, that was a nice test. Fun. Something to do. So that was everything for this video. Um, the lino prints, as I said, I don't think they came out that well. I did have a look at other people's sort of lino prints afterwards and a couple of tutorials. And I think lino works a lot better when you have a bit more of a detailed illustration. 
so I think what I'm going to do is do like a specific illustration set for the awkward animals for Lino um, and start designing those over the next couple of weeks because um, I do want some really nice prints so adding in some leaves and some embellishments and a bit of texture in there but the bags so 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 pleased with those are going to go up on my store soon um, I just need to take some nice pictures of them I hope you enjoyed this video and again let me know what text should go with the cat because I really am struggling with that um, and make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy this content I'm going to be doing some punch needling and some ceramics coming up so if you're interested in that definitely subscribe and I'm going to be doing some illustrations in my sketchbook and a couple of draw with me's um, as well so if that sounds interesting then great I will see you next week.